Alright YouTube, so I've been waiting on my new Aero 2 antenna to come in and behold it is here today along with this pup and so we are going to be unboxing it on camera and get some first impressions here. So I did get the dual, uh, the dual uh, band one with the duplexer built in. I'm going to be using my Balfang radio mostly with this. Uh, so let's go ahead and get it unboxed and see what it looks like. All right. Hopefully you guys can see everything okay here. Can't really see the camera to see where it's aimed at. And if you haven't been able to tell, the camera's mounted on my dog's crate. So, We're just going to go ahead and rip the rest of this bubble wrap off. She must know the camera's filming. Shasta. So, as you can see, this is the packaging for the antenna. It looks pretty tight. Got some plastic around it. It looks like it comes with the. Uh, so I did also order the BNC adapter for my valve thing to make sure it's going to screw in correctly. So that's pretty cool. Uh, this almost is like watertight, I guess, just in case it rains during shipment. Uh, it says Air 2 model 146, 340, uh, 437, 10 watt. Uh, so with a duplexer, the 10 watt um, it's going to be limited to 10 watts. Uh, for the transmit power. So, we're going to go ahead and start getting this open. you got to go do something yourself. <laughs> she was so cute at the stove. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and cut this open because it's pretty tight. I don't think I'm going to be able to just uh, rip it off. That's actually super tight. I just heard the air literally just like decompress out of this. So we can go ahead and get this open. And it looks like this is going to be the mast here. Uh, it's got the BNC cable, it looks like to connect to both the 2 meter and the, um, the 70 centimeter band. The duplexer is actually within this handle here, so that's pretty cool. And it's got the cable coming out to connect to our radio. So, let's go ahead and get our, our legs out. See how all this works. So what's going on here. It looks like we have the instructions, maybe. Uh, minimum power installation. Remove foam grip and plastic end cap from the boom. Really? Remove the foam grip and the plastic end cap from the boom. I guess this is the plastic end cap. So that's out and we'll remove the foam grip as well. Really? I kind of feel like I shouldn't be doing this. Let's see. Using your finger, apply some cornstarch to the inside of the foam grip and to the antenna cables and boom. What? <laughs> what are you doing, Arrow? What do you mean? Alright, so I've come to the realization here that even though 
we just came, uh, we bought it with the phone, uh, the duplexer built in. It looks like it has the instructions for the duplexer itself and the installation, but it's already came pre-installed, so we don't actually have to worry about any of that. So we're going to go ahead and put this top plastic cap back inside of the boom. That was a little odd. I almost pulled that off for nothing. Uh, so it looks like we got the parts list here. Um, drawing not to scale. And it's got some like diagrams and stuff for the actual boom. It's got the um, the element list and. This is probably going to be actually pretty simple. You probably won't actually need this, but we're going to go ahead and cut open the packaging. And we're going to go ahead and start sliding the elements out. So this definitely looks like the 70 centimeter elements. We're going to set those to the side, and this is going to be the 2 meter elements. So we got those as well. It looks like they're pretty much the same length. Let's see. Well, maybe not. Interesting. Six and a half hours later. All right, so in the end, it looks like the uh, the diagram here that we're actually going to be using to put this thing together. Um, so it's actually got the, the measurements um, of both the two meter as well as the 70 centimeter. So it looks like there's three two meter elements and then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven se 70 centimeter element. This. So we know that the two meter element is going to be about in the middle of the antenna. So what I'll do is go ahead and connect that. Actually we'll connect the longest element here at the bottom. Ah, uh, you know what it is? These actually go on both sides of this. I'm just being a dummy. So we're going to go ahead and match these up with the same size pairs. So we're going to have those two together. Then we're going to have, uh, looks like these two together. And then we're going to have the, uh, the connector piece together there in the center. So the longest is going to go in the back toward the, um, the handle. And we'll go ahead and put that in there and connect that on this side. And then we'll take the connector piece. I'm not sure which side's supposed to go down or if it matters. But I'm going to go ahead and take the connector piece and get that seated into the center. And it looks like it's going to, the connector obviously faces the duplexer. Um, so we have the middle piece in there. And then we're going to take the next piece, which is the longest piece, and go ahead and connect that on this side as well. I'm starting to notice that the filming length that I set for this camera is just a little too short. But, now that we have those, I'm just going to check the camera to see what you guys can see here. Now that we have those pieces in there, we can actually start connecting the, seven, the 70 centimeter elements. So there's a little bit more of these, so we're going to go ahead and group these to make sure that they are with their same parts. All right, so I figured out what's going on. Basically, each of these are an individual element. I'm just way overthinking it. I have these separated from the smallest to the largest, and it looks like 
uh, that's how it's supposed to be. Because these first three are actually the same size, they are 4 and 7 eighth inch, uh, and then it goes up to the 5 inch, uh, which is going to go in the same spot as the, uh, the mid piece there for the 2 meter. Then we're going to go to a 5 and 1 fourth inch, 6 inch, and 6 and 1 half inch. So let's go ahead and get these, uh, these first little 4 and 7 to 8 inches on here. The next piece should be a little bigger. That's going to go into our middle element here. And it's raining quite a bit outside, so unfortunately, I don't think I'm even going to get to play with as much today unless it lets up some. And then um, it looks like our next element, let's see, is going to actually be, yes, so here's next, we'll do the 5 and 1 fourth inch. It should be slightly bigger than the last one. It is. So we'll go ahead and put that in there. And the next one before the last is going to be our uh, connector. So we'll go ahead and get that unscrewed. And it's going to be facing down. Tighten this last element up a little bit. It's wobbling. And now it's for our last element, which should be the biggest out of all of them on the 70 centimeter side. Just to make sure we'll set that up and it's a little bigger. I don't actually have to take measure or measure it, but I'm just going by the um, by the sizes themselves. Now this is kind of where the duplexer comes out, so I'm not sure if what the best way to do this part is, if just move the wires out of the way or go down in between, but I think we're just going to go in between for right now. Um, well, actually, let's go ahead and plug up that 70 centimeter element connector and see what it feels like. So there, yeah, there's space in between, so I don't think that's the most optimum way to do this, but we're going to go ahead and put that in there. And there we go. So we now have the Arrow 2 antenna fully assembled. And I'm just going to point the camera up here so you guys can see what it looks like. So we have our connector for the radio. We have our handle. And I can imagine this right here, this handle is going to get a little heavier over time but it does feel light nevertheless uh, despite its size and it looks pretty good and it looks like it's ready to rock and roll uh, I wish it wasn't out like raining outside but uh, this thing looks like it's ready to go out and uh, make a few QSLs over the satellite anyways if you guys like this video uh, definitely now that I have this antenna there's going to be a lot more uh, satellite stuff on the way now that I have something that's actually pretty workable with it so just remember subscribe rate and comment